Hey, what's happening guys? Mark back in the shed on Mark's Aquatics. Today I'm going to talk about auto top-up systems. If you watch my last video, you'll see I had the ballpark system in there. Now that runs, I'll just show you now. Now that runs off of my RODI unit there, okay? Now that runs straight from there. You can see that pipe that comes off. It goes all the way around, it goes up the wall, through there, through my wall here, into my shrimp room the other side, and it's always pressurized on those ball valves. So as soon as a, we have a little bit of evaporation, those little ball valves slowly drop, like I said before, and it slowly, for every drip that goes into the air, it evaporates, a drip's put back, so you have spot on stability. Now I've done this for many many years with marine systems and um, I've got one of my old marine systems here an old auto top off now you can buy these they're quite expensive to buy I will say that but if you want to keep your tank parameters spot on especially if you've got an open top tank like a rimless tank or something or like the mini pond is here and you're just going to get the evaporation coming off if you've got a lid on your tank it's not too much of a worry because then your condensation is going to form in the lid and you're not going to lose much water at all. So that's going to be quite quite static like that and it's going to stay it's going to stay quite to, at a good level all the time. But these little gadgets are auto top offs. Okay, they come with a little pump, a little float. It's just got a little cover on it. Now basically what that does, that fits into your tank on your water level line there, okay? Now as you you can set this up and down the glass to where you want it you've got your level up where you want it there okay you put it up so the float switches up and it will switch it off now as soon as it starts to go down when that evaporation occurs like that it'll turn that then will switch on your little pump which is there will then turn on from your little vat of water here which I've just got a normal little bowl just to show you guys all right and just to show you how it works so I'm, I'm just going to set it up what I'm going to do I'm going to put this in the mini pond which is probably going to be a good idea and I can give you a these are quite handy because you don't have to have it I mean this is a shop bought one now you just suck that to the side and you wind that up and it will stick on there absolutely solid so excuse me little guys while I just stick that in there and you wind that up and you only need a couple of turns okay now we've got that in the tank there so now we've just got it I'll, I'll give you another view another angle of it in a minute but I just want to get it set up first and I'll show you how simple these things are to work they are literally a switch and a pump and that's all they are super easy to build expensive to buy but I'll go through it with you in a minute and you'll be able to um, sort one out for yourself very easily now we've got the little pump there very small little pump piece of airline which I'll put there now this had a slightly bigger size pipe on I think it was a six mil airline it's a little bit thicker but that's not to worry because if I rightly thinking I've got some acrylic tube around here which is the same diameter as that here's a piece so just for purposes I'll try and keep you in the loop as much as I can guys that can that'll fit in there like that okay now I'm just going to take a piece of that off just for a moment right I've got my little crafty knife there and this piece of acrylic tube now when you get these pumps you can buy up different sizes of airline I'm not sure of the mill of that but I would have thought it's about seven or eight mil so what I'm going to do is very carefully if you're, if you're if you're unsure about using knives kids if you're young and you're watching this get someone to help you all right and you just literally score that you can hear it cutting 
all the way around and then you just give it a little snap and it will snap along that score line basically just like glass does okay so now we've got that we can push that into there nice and tight like that so now we've got our little uplift tube and we've got our airline now which we need to put on the top of that which I'm going to squeeze on there okay okay right we got that little piece on there now now that can go in there Make sure it's on nice and tight guys and it's going to fly off and squirt me in the chops. Right that's in there nice and tight now you see. We've got a good bit on there that's not going to come off anywhere. Now that little pump now fits into our water there. Tip it up like that make sure you get all the air out. See shake the air out. And now we need this pipe to go all the way along. I'll put it around the back, just quite a long piece, around the old diving bottle aquarium there. Right, and then we switch him on. They come with, um, probably should have told you that as well, but if you can see there, they've got a little adapter plug, which is obviously your main... If I clear that out of the way then you've got a better idea of, of where I'm coming from here. So basically what it is, you've got a plug, okay, and that runs all the way down to a double switch, to a double socket there, see? So you then your power goes in. And then that is, then that goes to your float switch, and then that one goes to your pump. So as that float goes up, it trips that switch, and we'll plug it in. I'll just get myself a bit organised here. Right, I'm organised at last. Right, so I'll just run through this again, okay? We've got our pump, which is now in our, say our five litre jack or whatever we're going to use, okay? So you can drill a hole in the top of a jug. In fact, I've got one I can show you here, actually. Right, okay, that's better. Now I got these off eBay. Now when I have my marine system, I used to have a doser on there, which was a nice little square box, and it had three little parasitic, paralytic, or well, not paralytic, what are they called? Paras God knows, something like that. <laughs> they had three little pumps on them. And um, they were on timers, and I could program it to what time I wanted each of these to come on. And I had three part solutions to go in for the corals, basically, to make the corals grow. I won't get into that, because that's another science in itself. But I got these and I bought three of them and they were really cheap. I think they're only a few quid each and they're nice and sturdy plastic. And all you got to do is drill a hole through the top like that. Okay, pass your pipe work through. I'd have to drill that out a bit bigger actually. Yeah, we're going to need a bigger hole. Obviously, I just had the pipe work going through there before, but we've got to get the lead in for the, the pump as well, and we've got to get the jack through there as well. So we get the old step-in bit that comes in always handy, as you know, if you're filling Minio with my videos. And we can cut a lovely neat hole to whatever size we want. Now, what I've got to do is go back now and find this one. 
Now this is the pump one. So now what we want to do is we want to pass the jack through the lid like that, okay? And then we want to get our tube and pass that back in through that way like so and then connect it back into our pump. So we're basically left with that. So it's hanging on there and then we drop that into the top if it'll fit like so it was a tight fit there but we just got him in and it will screw your lid back on and then you can reconnect your power supply there all right guys and now we come to the float switch bit so if you can imagine now, that's in the tank, the float switch now, keep your eye, keep your eye on that pipe over there. Now as your water level now slowly drops, I'll try and get it both in focus if I can. I don't think it's going to happen, maybe I'll hold it further away. Yeah, there you go. But that slowly drops, that switch comes on, and voila, you have your water then going into your into your system and topping it up and then as soon as it raises up to that level again it shuts off drops a fraction on it comes up a fraction so you can imagine it's dropping in minute amounts at every time so you're keeping that stability in your shrimp tank spot on okay that's how simple these are i'll just turn that the other way around now and i can get into a bit of a i'll just turn him off now, with these setups, if you've got a cabinet, obviously, brilliant. If you've got a shrimp room, better still, you can rig your whole shrimp room out with one of these systems. And you can buy them really cheaply on eBay, but you've got to actually make them yourself. Now, there's a guy on eBay, and he does all the component parts that you need. He does the little pumps, he does the switches, he's got the little jacks, he's got all this stuff. Some of it's a couple of pounds to buy. I think the pump's maybe £15. But if you're going to buy one of these things, you're going to be paying from £60 to £100 for one of those if you get one ready-made. Now, all you've got to do, if you want to make a holder for it, to stick it in your tank or in a system, you've just got to warm up some Perspex. If you want me to show you how to make a Perspex holder like that, I'll make you one for you, all right? I'll show you how to do it. You can basically see what it is. You've just got to get a suck on there. But what, what you've got to make sure is that when you fix it, double sucker it. Because you don't want that to move. Because it's quite... Some of these have got doubles on them. So if one fails, you're not going to flood your house. So you've got two of them. I've got a, one called... It's made a company called Tunzi. And they do do them for marine, and they got one which is like a laser pointer that comes down, so the water comes up, it touches it, it goes off, and then the other one is one of these. So if that fails, as that water comes up, it sets an alarm off and stops the pump as well, and and alerts you that um, with a little alarm, a little squealing alarm that comes on, which was very handy when you've got a thousand uh, fifteen thirty four. Yeah, what was it? I think I had about thirteen thousand litre tank in there, marine tank, so um, that was the best part, sort of 250 gallons I think in total, which is a big lump of water in your house, you don't want that emptying, and the uh, the sump underneath, which I had this on, was also, well, I think that was about 50 gallons, 50 gallons of top up water in there as well, which was, uh, I had the RO system running into that, with a top up valve inside there, then that fed that so we could go away anywhere and it do the top up systems for you as you go away because a lot of, just a lot of things happen when you go away on holiday guys and one of these when you're on holiday is an amazing thing to have you've got peace of mind if you've got a rimless tank and you haven't got anyone looking after it because we know shrimps can survive for a couple of weeks without food they'll live on the biofilm and all the stuff that's creeping around in your tank and the algae which is growing they'll live on that for a good while before you need to uh, before you need to put any food in there so one of these is a godsend to keep your ph and your levels right and so I've got them on my systems because I come from a marine background anyway this is where I learnt about all this stuff but this guy that sells all these things on, uh, on eBay 
like I say, he does all the little jacks, he does all these component parts, and you can build one very, very cheaply. There's probably loads of tutorials if you look in the marine sections, auto top ups um, on eBay. Uh, sorry, on YouTube, and they'll probably show you how to do it. All you've got is a soldering gun and a couple of bits. Uh, follow them along. Plenty of guys on there have done them. And like I said, they're a little godsend. So get yourself one of these if you uh, if you want to uh, keep up with your pH levels and keep everything up to speed. And they really will look after your tank for you, okay? Yeah, so I just had um, a guy, Ashley, he emailed me saying about a top-up system. And basically that's why I've done this video, really, so it can help him out. I told him and I sent him a couple of links on, uh, on eBay that he could pick up second-hand ones of these you can buy them if you don't want to make one you can buy these um, as well you can get some which are motion they got um, little sensors on them and as the water comes up the front on the level line it knows exactly where it is and it will keep it to your level you can just buy the switches as well and obviously this is a black um, these this actual ones made by TMC it's uh, V V auto top up see so you can look that up if you want to get one of these it's, I had this on a nice little nano tank. I think it was one of the first videos I ever made. I think it was one of those. I had it on, on that tank many years back now. And then I stopped making videos. And I started again. Anyway, yes, these will really look after your tank and keep your parameters extremely stable. Especially your pH, which is important for your shrimps. And um, like I say, if you go away anywhere, that will make sure your tank is topped up. And it's not going to go because as soon as that water level drops away like that obviously the water is evaporating and your mineral and everything is staying the minerals are staying in the system so um your tds is going to go off and all that carry on so that's where you've got to watch things and this is why i think i've had great success with my system because of those the ball cock system but that's obviously pressurized through through that and just on a ball valve system so basically it works the same as that but it's under pressure from the mains so as soon as that drops away like that and goes up and it stops anyway guys go and get yourself one of these stick it in your shrimp room your fish rooms even fish rooms amazing for um for keeping your tanks topped up you just got to suck that to the bottom of the glass unless you've got big aggressive midas like frank who will play rugby with that and the thing will be going on and off every two minutes and you flood the house <laughs> but uh i don't worry about frank's tank he's uh he's he's bomb proof that guy so we'll just keep looking after him the old-fashioned way i think Anyway, guys, I hope you liked that little quick tutorial. I'm sure it wasn't actually a DIY build. It was um, more of a DIY put-together quick thing out of something that we already had. Right, you can get those off eBay or even a bucket. Keep a lid on it, obviously, because you want to keep your RO. You want neat RO water in there, don't forget. Not remineralized or anything. It's just got to be RO water, complete, pure, demineralized, straight out. So as it, the evaporation takes, takes over, it'll replace it. And then it'll put your fresh water back in, bringing you up to the, exactly the same TDS as you had in the tank before. All right, guys? Anyway, guys, love you all your stars. If you haven't seen any more of my videos, pop back. If you're new to the channel and have a look at some of the old ones, you might uh, be tempted to subscribe to the channel. And as always, your all stars, I love you all. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next episode of Mark's Aquatics. Bye for now.